Hey guys, this part will be discussed on more to CME futures and how do we make use of the fear and greed index. Before we start with the charts, let me just remind you if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the groups, right? So let us come back to this, what you call, uh, let us start with the fear and greed index. Currently, as per now, today, we are looking at the fear and greed index is at 74 levels which is at the greed zone right so where um, you know Buffett always says like others when others is greed we need to be take care out of ourselves take care of your portfolios and it's a time to you to take profit out of it and when others is scared which is they are intangibly like fear then you need to be aggressive and optimistic right so at this particular moment we are looking at these 47 i mean sorry 74 levels which is in the greek levels and i need to very clearly let you know that how is this going to measures right so quickly very fast this data structures is eventually on the volatilities 25 percent and of course the market movements and the social media forms all of these three categories we are getting the response from the global markets right so how is the market response we be saying it's like the potential investors retail investors or we call it the whales could be a potential index or a indicators to be reviewed right so the next things could be going to the dominance and trends let me ask these questions do you ever notice that bitcoin dominance is always in a charge right so when we when we see bitcoin dominance is increasing meaning that bitcoin price action is eventually is going up when bitcoin's dominance is like lower then this could be potentially giving us a hint to go for the altcoins levels right so the trend is your friend right the trend is your friend currently if let's say we are putting on our focus on a trend then we need to know about the structures right so the structures could be potentially explained in the bitcoin's dominance right so now let us see on the bitcoin dominance or we call it cme future as the first right so now it's not we're saying this uh bitcoin dominance right so let us pull out the charts on the weekly charts as we can see currently is going up and we hit a resistant levels right can we break on the resistant levels of course on a time basis right so if let's say we are looking on the daily charts currently we are getting a rebound right rejected so now this rejected is potentially happening on a double bottom structures right like this right double bottom structures and we are hoping that uh, the dxy could be potentially getting a pullback and we try to break it out but bear in mind because of these structures we are getting more volatilities more fluctuations in the market on the price actions right so currently say for examples when we go back to this what we call cme futures let me just enlarge it as we can see currently the cme futures is stay above 0.5 on the fibonacci tracements right 0.5 which is 67k range as this is giving us a hint these potential points could be giving us a rebounds right a rebounds we are hope to see that we want it to be like getting rebounds at this 0.5 levels because lower than this could be potentially a downtrend right so at this particular moment combining the fear and greed index concept together with the dominance the market actions of course with the price actions currently we are looking at a 
short term short positions right so if let's say you are holding your contracts is like you know, more than uh, a few months or a few weeks and of course your leveraging is not too high then it could be a benefit for you to do averaging and get into the prop i mean profits right so this could be potentially a hint and i hope that this part is very clearly explained to you how do you make use of the cme futures and the bitcoin dominance as well as the fibonacci's retracement tools right so i hope that this will give you some technical analysis on the geopoliticals and of course on the price section and the dominance part don't hesitate to ask the team if let's say you don't understand we'll be getting you a support right i'm eddie i will see you in the next